Charles Anderson, written by Barbara Abercrombie and illustrated by Mark Graham. This is the cover of your book. This is the spine. And this is the back of our book. This is the title page. One cold night, a cat walked out of the woods, up the steps, across the deck, and into the house where Elizabeth and Sarah lives. He curled up next to the fireplace to keep warm. He watched the six o'clock news. He tasted their dinner and tried out their beds. He decided to stay, and the girls named him Charlie. Every morning, Charlie disappeared into the woods again. At night when he came home, Elizabeth brushed him clean, fed him dinner, and made him a place at the foot of her bed. He liked Elizabeth's bed the best. And sometimes she would wake up in the middle of the night and hear him purring in the dark. Sarah called him baby and dressed him in dog clothes. When it snowed, Elizabeth and Sarah's mother heated Charlie's milk before he left for the woods. He grew fatter and fatter. Every day, he'd purr louder and louder. On weekends, the girls stayed with their father and stepmother in the city. They wanted to bring Charlie with them, but their mother said he'd miss the woods. Charlie's a country cat, she told them. One stormy night, Charlie didn't come home. Elizabeth and Sarah stayed out on the deck and called his name. But no Charlie, where was he? Why wouldn't he come out of the woods? Was he all right? All night long, Elizabeth listened to the rain beating on the roof and the wind rattling the windows. Was he cold? Was he hurt? Where was Charlie? In the morning, Elizabeth and Sarah looked for him. They asked the lady down the road if she'd seen their cat. She said no and offered them some cookies, but they were too worried to eat. Even her chocolate chip cookies. They went to the new house on the other side of the woods. Have you seen our cat? They asked. His name is Charlie. He's very fat and has gray striped fur. We have a cat with gray striped fur, said the man, but his name's not Charlie, it's Anderson. He's upstairs asleep in our bed. They heard a meow, meow. and down the stairs came a very fat cat with gray striped fur. Charlie! Sarah and Elizabeth cried. No, that's Anderson, said the woman. We've had him for seven years, right Anderson? He looked up at her and began to purr. But it's Charlie, Sarah said. He looked at her and purred louder. Is he ever here at night, Elizabeth asked. Anderson is a hunter, the man said. He prowls the woods at night. Charlie sleeps in my bed at night, Elizabeth said. He leaves for the woods after breakfast. Anderson comes home at breakfast time, said the woman. He leaves right after dinner. They looked at the cat. He sat at their feet, very happy and very fat. They call him Charlie Anderson now. Sometimes in bed at night, Elizabeth asks him, Who do you love the best, Charlie Anderson? And she can hear him purring in the darkness. Just like Elizabeth and Sarah, Charlie has two houses, two beds, two families who love him. He's a lucky cat. The end.